Good evening, Yarnies, Dirty Hookers, and Fiber Fiends. How is everybody? Hopefully my uh, audio and video are in sync, or whatever boy band of the 90s, early 2000s you choose. Um, Bray Crochet got first. Welcome in, Bray. Thank you for the check-in. Thank you for the check-in, Crojo and Reese Cop. Uh, how is everybody? Hey there, Olive. What is going on, everyone? Uh, thank you for the check-in, CC. Uh, all of the all of the friends are here. So what is going on? Let me. I got. I got dust and lint. Um, uh, hey there, pink flames. Doing okay? My sweater that I'm working on is generally giving me a headache. Oh no! Oh no! One word of advice, maybe set it down and just like chill and like zone out and relax, put it away and then come back to it. Um, hey there, Andrew. Yes. Christmas decorations. I put the tree up yesterday. I actually got it yesterday. And any of the uh, Christmas ornaments that I make, these are all handmade ornaments um, as I make them as they're finished. They get put onto the tree. Um, this was a four-foot tree from Michael's. Forgot the name of it. Forgot the exact name of it. But it was on sale. It was on sale. And I had um, a rewards. Michael's, I'm part of the Michael's rewards uh, system. So I had like $10. So it was on sale. Plus I had $10 off. So I think it cost me about twenty dollars. When originally I think it was like original price without sale is like fifty. So yeah, and then I also got they're over there, but uh, not white, but other different colors of thread. They had a um, online. This is online. Um, well, no, the trees were on sale when we opened their stores. But online, they had 30% um, off regular priced only, regular priced items, uh, online on, only. So I got a bunch of uh, colors that, of thread that I didn't have. So uh, check it out. Check it out if you need a tree. I mean, other stores are going to have them too. But uh, since I have part of the reward system, which I love it. I love it. You buy something and then they give you money. So I have like another five dollar rewards from this purchase. <laughs> I think there might be more coming, but uh, thank you. I like it. I like it. I I am a traditional. When I when I when I do Christmas trees, I like traditional, like white lights, non blinking. Now, if I'm like out and about and see Christmas lights, I don't know if anybody else does this. Um, we did it a lot when I was a kid. But you drive around neighborhoods and look at everybody's Christmas lights. Plus, there are different there are areas here. There's certain parks and um, different places that will do a like a lighted display thing, like a drive-through lighted display. Um, so I know there's a park, a sizable park, a county park. It's not my county; it's the next county over. Sizable park that does a drive-through lighted display every year. They keep adding on to it. And if it's colored lights and blinking and flashing, I'm okay with that. But for my own tree, I think all the trees here that we have here in the house are all white. Yeah, that's just that's just what I like. Um, let's see here. We love a good sale. Pay basically paid you to take the tree, pretty much. How are you, Blue? Blue, I made you a mod. I hope you're okay with that. You were a mod on your other account. You're a, you're a mod again. Um, and I was lurking in your stream and. I know you were joking, but I what? I wasn't ignoring you. I was doing a bunch of different things. So, uh, you have a question for tatting? All right. What is your question? Uh, so fun as a kid. Yes, Bray. Yes. Oh, and Bray, I want to apologize. <laughs> I was in Bray's stream, and she was getting ready to write out. And she didn't actually say, okay, we're going to go right. She said, oh, and she was saying something. I don't remember what she said, because I don't listen and pay attention. Um, and she was getting ready to go raid to Lady Cricket Bog. Well, it 
popped up in chat, Ray, a slash raid, Lady Cricketbug. Well, I thought Lady Cricketbug was raiding into Bray. <laughs> and I said, no, you're not. No, you're not. She's raiding into you. And she was like, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. And then I'm like, oh, I'm wrong. I am totally wrong. So, <laughs> yeah, I, Crafty Cub had a, had a moment. We, we had a moment <laughs> that I thought... I was seeing things. I, I was I was imagining Lady Cricketbug raiding into Bray when I was reading the raid call going to Lady Cricketbug. So, um, you're good for... Eric. Oh, er, Eric's are the worst. Eric's are not fun. Uh, I hope you feel better, uh, Blue. Um, are you on any medication or anything to help with your earache? Um, let's see here. Are you using Aunt Lydia size 10? Yes, I have. I have used Aunt Lydia size 10. I use other things as well. The shuttle, which is easier to use? The one with the bobbin, one without. I don't. I don't bobbin. I don't. I don't bobbin. Not bobbin. I don't shuttle tat. I know how to shuttle tat. The only ones I've ever used are the ones with the bobbin. Um. I don't think that's a matter of... I don't even know where my shuttles are. Oh, they're right here. I only have the ones with the shuttles. Where's the... Let me get the thing. Let me get the things out. 27 taps. Yes, so I, well, I don't have 27, but I do have a lot of taps. So well, I lurk in a lot of streams, plus all the other things I need. Um, either for my stream or for other streams. Meds, not taking them yet? All right, Blue. Yes, hopefully they're going to work for you. Um, to answer your tatting question, I only have the ones that have the bobbin. Now... Traveling Tatter would be a better question, a person to ask, but I think she has said that an advantage of the ones with the bobbins. Now, the bobbins are not sewing machine bobbins. They're not interchangeable. You can't use a, a, a sewing machine bobbin in a shuttle, and you can't use a shuttle on a sewing machine bobbin. Even with sewing machines in general, not that we're sewing with sewing machines, but with sewing machines, you have to use the correct bobbin for the correct machine. Um... They're not all, you can't just take one, necessarily take one bobbin from one sewing machine to the other. It does, no, it doesn't always work. I mean, it most likely won't work. Welcome in, ADK. How are you? But the advantage of a bobbin shuttle, and those of you who don't know what I'm talking about, this shuttle, it's got a plastic bobbin. Supreme Doom, welcome in. This bobbin, if that's what you, you wind your thread on, you put your thread on it. You can have different. You can have multiple bobbins. I have extra bobbins. So if you've got a bunch of um, thread on it, and you have a project, so let's say you have white on this one, and then you have another bobbin, and it's got purple, and you got one that's green, but you only have one shuttle. You can pop it out while it's still in progress. So if you're not finished with it, pop it out, put in another bob in the other bobbin. And you could have multiple projects. If you have a post, there are ones that have, in the middle here, they've got a, a post. They've got a thing in the center. That you, that's what you wind it on. I don't have, I thought I had one, but I don't have one. Um, that you wind it on. Well, you're dedicated to that shuttle. You're dedicated. So, that is, that's an advantage of the bobbins. Uh, running all day. Oh, um, rest your legs and your knees. Did you, did, were you on like, like a, 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 on a, um, a track or were you like running in the neighborhood or was it, was it a marathon? Was it a relay? <laughs> um, good. Decided to do, be a nice mom and knit gnomes. Ooh, gnomes are fun. Gnomes are fun. Went shopping. I have cabinet. Oh, <gasps> wait. Supreme is organizing her craft room. Yay! I love organizing. I love organizing stuff. Um, 
Sorry, I went silent in your stream. I had to do something. Uh, your legs and knees are killed. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I know how that is. My, we, didn't, we ran one error in this afternoon, and it wasn't, we weren't gone that long, but I've got sciatica, and my uh, my leg was killing me. We weren't even in the store for that long, but uh, felt like a marathon. Um, getting gift brother for Christmas. He has a bunch of Aunt Lydia size 10 lace, but he claims his hands are too big for the crochet hook. Okay. Um. Okay. So. So. He, uh, I'm assuming he, he crochets, obviously. If you, if you want, if he has shown interest in tatting, and his hands are too big for the crochet hook. Um, you could try, you could try a shuttle, or you could try what I do with the, the needle. So, uh, decluttering kids' old belongings. Oh, yeah, I need to declutter. Then you can organize. Uh, yes, yes. Um, yeah, I, I've got stuff to do. My 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 crafts my craft supplies are organized. I just have got stuff. I got stuff I need to get rid of. Actually, there's some craft supplies I should get rid of. I should uh, thoroughly go through stuff that I'm never going to use. I hope you feel better, and thank you for the raid. Uh, yes. Uh, what what, uh, what price that? Never? Well, there's stuff I'm never, ever going to use. I don't even know what, what that is on the top of my head. Like, um, I can't tell here from this angle. But uh, I know there are things that I'm never gonna, never ever gonna use. It's just small, random things. Not, uh, not, um, not a whole bunch of things. Well, one thing. I don't know. Am I making myself? Am I making any sense? Probably not. Do I ever? Um. But hopefully that explains um, that explain that asked your that uh, that asked your question. Yes, that answers your question. Um, if you are, I, I, and I always throw it back to um, not Supreme, well Supreme, but I throw it back to Traveling Tatter. If you're not following her, do, um, exclamation point Tatter. Let me get that up in the thing. Um, oh, thank you, Supreme. Um, check with her. She would probably more. She's more of an expert. She probably won't like me saying saying that she's an expert, but she she shuttle tats and she knows that about all the different types of shuttles and the pros and cons and the advantages of different ones. Um, and and if you are looking to buy tatting supplies, shuttles, needles, thread, um. That site, collected-chaos.com, that is Tatter's um, shop. You could also buy merch, too. Um, so you don't have to, but you have to. <laughs> if anybody's going to buy, buy from her, buy, buy from her. So su support a small business and a fellow streamer and a friend of the uh, community. Um, but like I said, all I have are... Um, bobbin shuttles both of these actually one of these i purchased from hobby lobby and the other one i purchased from tatter um they're the same brand they're the air lights um these bobbins are interchangeable and i bought extra bobbins uh this one i've had for many years this i got michaels when michaels used to carry them michaels doesn't carry um, in their stores, at least in our store, they don't carry tatting supplies anymore. But this bobbin is specifically for this shuttle. So it looks like a metal so metal sewing machine bo bobbin. It's not. It won't work. Uh, you learn on a post shuttle. Yes. I know Clover. Clover makes post shuttles. And I think Tatter has, has post shuttles on her shop as well. But it's not just... Uh, one is better than the other. It's just, just different. Just different. Okay. 
we are not doing this Christmas bobble right now. We will do this. That's what this is. Um, I'm going to be doing it in the pink. I started it last night. I modified the pattern a bit because it's a little... It's like loose. It's like baggy. So I will take this off. And if I can get a slightly bigger bobble to put it on, um, I will do that. We have to go through our um, ornaments. I brought down the tree... The big tree, the seven-foot tree, last night, and the two um, containers of ornaments. On Thanksgiving, my niece and nephew decorate the tree. So after they do all of that or while they're doing it, I'll see if I can get a another bobble. But Because uh, I'm using a different thread than what the pattern shows. Oh, if anybody wants that pattern, this pattern here, again, this is in progress. Uh... Let's do the thing. And I'm going to pay to paste to paste it pay, pin it to top of chat. Um, but first we're gonna be doing I'm gonna be working on something else. Uh, welcome in, Trapper. Thank you for the checking in the lurk. I appreciate you. I'm gonna be making this. I'm gonna be making a snowflake. This is from Four Dozen Tatted Snowflakes by Robin Perfetti. The same designer that designed the Four Dozen Tatted Bookmarks. That's That designed that. Just fall on the floor over here. Just, just fall. But, um, this is a uh, from a book, so it's not there's it's not a um, it's not a pattern you can get online. I mean, you can you can buy the book online, but it's not a uh, online pattern. So, uh, crochet question: What is the crochet question? I might have a crochet answer. A a answer. Uh, welcome in, Keysack. How are you? If I'm turning my granny square in every round, why is it wonky like shifting? I thought by turning it would prevent... Um, keep going. Keep going. And if it's still like that, block it. Depending on how big you're going to make it, but block it. Blocking will help. Yes, yeah, sometimes it'll be wonky even if you're turning each round. And that has to do with your tension. And you know... Of course, you know, you taught me how to crochet. Um, you can't really, yeah, but block it. And if you need um, tips on blocking, there are different ways of blocking depending on the fiber. Welcome in, Emma. How are you? Okay, I need one. Where's my, where's my hooky? Oh, that's, no, the hook's right here. It's right there in front of my face. Okay, one, four. You can sometimes miss your steam block. Yes, welcome in buttons, yes. If you have, and this is for all blocking, regardless if it's um, um, tatted, crochet, knit, um, any of that. Uh, wait, let me catch up. Gonna Gave Finn a bath with proper dog shampoo and conditioner. He's fluffy. Oh! Um, if it is an, a, a man-made fiber, so if it's a synthetic fiber, like a, like an acrylic, um, you're going to need to steam it. So the best thing to do is to block it all out, pin it all out to way, the way you need it. So you can block it on different things. You don't have to have a specific blocking board or a blocking pad. You can get foam, like the cheap um, foam tiles that, 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 that like they piece, they, they lock together for like a kid's play mat. If you buy actual blocking mats, they can be expensive. Um, a big pillow, um, upholstery, fo upholstery foam, and pin it all out. And I stainless steel, 
stainless steel pens. I prefer T pens. Pin it out however you want it. Get it all pinned out. The more pins, the better. And if it has a lot of like picos and frilly things, pin all of that out. And again, if it's synthetic, steam. It's plastic. So just wet blocking it is not going to do anything. You want to slightly relax and melt the fiber. Not really melt, but kind of relax it. Um, carefully, with a steam iron, carefully hover over it maybe about an inch or so, or inch, inch and a half, two inches away from it, and steam it all over. Just steam, 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 steam while it's pinned, and then let it cool. If it's a natural fiber, cotton, wool, um, you can spritz it. Again, pin it all out, block it all out, and then spritz it with water, room temperature water, because the water will absorb into the natural fibers because it's not plastic. It's, it's made of cells and organic material. Um, and then let it, let it, let it dry. Um, you can block it when it's the full blanket. The problem is that's going to be so big. It's going to be so, so big that, um, trying to get it all perfectly square is going to be difficult on that grand scale um, and finding a place to block it to. Like, where are you going to pin it to if it's that big? Um, and you can get, I do have a blocking, a blocking board for squares. It's, uh, it's this and it's got metal rods that go in these holes and you can do all you and you can stack them up. You can put a bunch of stack of, of squares on top of each other. And I was using this um, when I was back last winter and spring when I was doing the eyeball blanket for a uh, commission piece. So uh, there was like 56 squares with that. That was that was a lot. Uh, I want to spend my birthday gift cards on arts and craft supplies. My mom requested no more yarn. And yours is the only craft supply I would need. New craft, Emma. Emma. Tatting. Tatting. Shuttles. Needle. Thread. <laughs> um, uh, basically, use my current stash where we get more. No, I get that. I get that. Um, it's not yarn. It is fiber related, and, and or or if you got like you can get the small little metal steel hooks, you can crochet still with it. So, um, block as I go, a bunch of rounds and block doom. Yes, yes. When I was doing the eyeball blanket, um, I was doing them in section in stacks. So I think I had like eight of each each color, and I would do. Make them all. I would. You can make them all and block them as you go. Now, if 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 you're gonna steam, I didn't really steam those. But if you're gonna steam with like a blocking board, like I have, I put I put one down and the put all the pegs out. Steam, steam, steam. Then put the next one on. So you have to do each one because if not, if you just put all like if you put eight on there and you steam the top, the bottom ones aren't gonna get steamed. Makes sense. Um, got my first commission. Nice. What, uh, what are you, what are you going to be making? Uh, excited, but also nervous because I have to make 24 or snowflake ornaments. Uh, yeah. Trying to charge, um, to find a, um, what to charge. I have a video. Um, hold on one second. I got to remember where it went. Oh my goodness. Where did I? Oh, where was it at? Um, I know it's in the Moco's stream, not stream, Discord. Oh, that's not, it's not in there. Oh, I'll have to find it. I'll have to find it. 
Let me get it. Let me let me look it out. Well, um, oh, I'm not gonna be able to find the the. I thought I uh. I thought I posted it in my Discord. I thought I posted my Discord and I can't find it. <sighs> brain cell. Just a garish brain cell. I will have to get back to you. Uh, and I don't think. Wait, may, 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 maybe it's in my Discord. <laughs> uh, oh! Got it. Got it. We got it. We got it. It's in my Discord. All right. Anybody who is um, making anything to sell, not just fiber arts. What if you, if you doesn't matter if you you are a uh, a creator that makes things. Uh, that link that I just posted there uh, is from uh, Allpape Designs. I found this video on um, from the Mocha Locos. Uh, stream and it kind of breaks a, a one good way of breaking down how to figure out what charge and it's there's a formula and you kind of have to play around with it and make it your own and he goes into detail and he, it's if you follow his his uh his instructions it it makes sense it makes sense um let's see here time to get a kit from tatter yes yes uh a continuous granny oh okay it's a continuous granny Hmm. Well, if it's really out of whack, that might be you might something you you can try to lock. But if it's slightly out of shape, if it's blanket, it might not be as noticeable. Um. Oh no no no! You're fine, buttons. That is what my stream is about. That's that's uh. That's uh what what we're all about. We're yeah. Join in, no problem. Could at least set a low and set. No, you're fine. You're fine. You're not rude. You're not rude at all. Okay. Uh, slightly center first rounds or so. Yeah. You can also try maybe adjusting your tension. Sometimes that will help. Sometimes that will help. Okay. One join four. I'm gonna go with it. Yep. And if it does, well, I know it's a lot of time to get into it, but you can always frog it out. And I know a lot of people don't like doing that, but it's an option. It's an option. All right. I may need to do four. So this is one of the uh, one of the snowflakes. In the book that I have, I need to take a picture of the of the of the snowflake to post up on my stream. So, Pico one, a big Pico one, and a Pico and four. Ah. Come on. One, two, I'm having problems. I'm having problems with this. <laughs> It could be, because I'm not used to working with Aunt Lydia's thread. Uh, I'm used to work, been, lately I've been working with that pearl cotton with the embroidery floss, and it's 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 a little bit thicker and has a slightly different texture. For Pico one. Welcome in, Ghost Glass. How are you? And thank you for the check-in. 
Okay. Let me double check. One, four, one, one, four. Oh, that last one. Oh, Peggy's and see. Wait. Try on Peggy's and see if it makes it. What do you mean? See if it makes a difference. I'm I'm confused. I mean, try the thread that I use for that bookmark. It's the same type of thread. It's a different brand, but it's the same, the same type of thread. Yeah, when I mean Aunt Lydia's, I mean crochet thread, crochet cotton. Um, because like these, this is a th little bit thicker thread. This is the embroidery floss, and I'm I've been used to, used to that. Hey, hon, how are you, Silver of Dragons? Good, working on coloring the page by oh. By Art and Jess, nice. Uh, um, let's see. Thank you for the check-in. I did exactly what I didn't want to do. What? That's what I did last time. You, oh, you're making a joke. Ah, you finished your bell. Nice. How did it turn out? I have to rip out. That I just made. <laughs> because I didn't do what I was supposed to do. Yeah. Oh, and it, um, CC, if you're still here, um, for tatting, it's easier to rip out your mistakes with needle tatting. Well, it's quicker than uh, shuttle. So that might be an option. You have it on your Instagram. Yay. <clears throat> oh, my voice is cracking. <laughs> All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you were shuttle tatting, you'd have to take out each stitch individually if you made a mistake. This one, you just unpick the first couple ones, and then you can just take the whole thing out. And I did the same thing earlier today when I was trying to do this exact same ring. It did the... I wasn't paying attention. It's because what I'm doing is technically a throne ring. And I'm newer to throne rings because you're doing it off of the chain. And usually you don't do... Wait a minute. Welcome in, Fairy Dust. Yes, the Dirty Hookers. Um, normally, usually if you're making a ring, you're not doing it off of the ball thread, you're doing it. But this is also, the instructions are for two shuttles, but I don't shuttle tat. So, I have uh, adjusted the pattern. Now, I could have kept going. Oh well, well we're gonna we're gonna redo it. Welcome in, Dan. I'm good. How are you? Okay. <sighs> Third time trying to make this. Um, not only a hooker. Yes, fairy dust is the lot lizard. Fairy dust is the lot lizard. <laughs> All right. Let me. I got to remember at the end, before I close this up, I got to tie the knot. That is what was preventing me because it was just making a chain and I don't want to make a chain. And then we do four. So one, two, three, four. Um, good, 
good tired. I'm t good tired, but good. Okay, that's good. Um, sorry that you're tired, but if you're good, where's my badge? Wait, I need a badge. That's Pico, and then we need a larger Pico. Sleeper and a sleeper cat. Oh, hmm. Okay. Yeah, I made I'm making the picos bigger is good. Okay, that's two. Three. No. Crafty cub, that is not how you do a double stitch. Two, three, and four. Let me double check. I'm all uh, discombobulated here. One, four, one, four, one, one, one. All right. One, four, one, one, four, one. Okay. Now, before we close it all the way up, we're going to tie the knot. So make, don't get the loop all in there. So you want to keep that loop open. There we go. That's the important part is go through that loop. Again, I am... Oh, that needs to be tighter. Let's see how well this is going to work. Alright, that's doable. I could have made my picos bigger. Wait, why isn't that locking? <laughs> Yeah, that's... We're going to go through it again. I'm having difficulties. I am having difficulties. Okay. Yeah, that doesn't look the best. Okay. One. I know you all can't really see what I'm doing because it's kind of washed out because it's white. One and two, and it's so tiny. It is tiny. Hey there, Nara Spicy. How are you? Yes, this is um, Christmas time is here from uh, um, a Charlie Brown Christmas. I love. That's like one of my favorite Christmas specials. Welcome in, Moth. Boop, cup, cup of love, dub, dub. Yes. <laughs> How are you, uh, Moth? Uh, Charlie Brown, Charlie Brown's Christmas uh, special. You know the party scene where they're all dancing? My favorite, my favorite one that's dancing. They don't hit the... They're all just nondescript people. There's no actual like characters that have lines. It's the one that's standing there and goes. He's my favorite. <laughs> um, doing all this guy from British grandparents about the Woodbury Crochet Night. How was your visit? How was your visit? Uh, I'm pretty good. You're watching Charlie Brown right now. Yay! 
Uh, okay, I'm not sure if I told you or if you heard on my silent stream. I have one of my songs released, which done a local charity. Oh, no, I did not know. I did not know about that. It was good. Yummy pulled pork. Oh, but oh, pulled pork and potato casserole. Okay. Um, do you invite all of us? <laughs> I don't know how well this is gonna work. I don't know how well this is gonna work. Do not reverse. Three, one, between B segments. Wait. Okay. Um, maybe next time. I almost said the same thing for dinner. Pork chops and pit. Yum. Castle's always good. And yes, cheese. Yes, you have to have cheese. Unless you're uh, lactose intolerant. One, two, three. Okay. This one I can pull all the way through. Now, yeah. I'm hungry. All I had today was... What did I have today? Oh, I had a uh, turkey and cheese sandwich. I'm like, did I eat? Yes, I ate. Uh, okay, now we got a lock joint. I, I'm a pro at lock joint from that. Go in... Go in, take that, bring the needle thread up through, get something. No, I will. I will um, after I stream or maybe when I go on a break, depending on how long I'm going to stream. I'm not certain how long I'm going to stream for. Last, I think last night I did like five hours. Okay. Okay. Go through there. All right. Get that into place. That's important. Pull it tight. Ooh, I don't know if I like this. Yes! Yes, since uh, we've got the tray up, and I'm making a snowflake to go on the tray um, as I complete ornaments they go will be put on the tray oh i don't like that i messed up there but oh well um but we will we will uh switch over to other um um other music no can get a little tiring after a bit yes uh my music like, this one is, is a little more traditional. I mean, this is Luther Andros. But we do play some weird, weird music on this stream. Well, in this house. We listen to some unique Christmas music. It's not it's not always your run-of-the-mill um, uh, things. The next one's going to be something bizarre. Okay. This one isn't as too, too bizarre. Okay. We don't reverse on any of this. Okay, that's kind of cool. <laughs> Used to get annoyed with that when I was working in grocery store. Yes. Worked retail. Yeah. No, I don't work it. Yeah. Yeah, same here. Same here. All right. So I have to do that five more times. Three, one, two, three. Get 
that can go just like so. During the repeats, join this ring to the to the ring. Oh, three. Ah, uh, ha, ha, I see. Uh, I see. I see. I see. One, two, three, and now we're going to do a join. Tangled up knots. That's uh. We're tangling up knots. One, two, Pico, and one. Okay. Go through the loop. Because if not, it's going to be a chain. There we go. There we go. We can kind of see what I've done so far. Come on, Zoom. Focus. Focus. I don't think it's going to focus. Oh! Wait. It focused. That's what I've done so far. Okay. One, four. Then we do four, two, three, four. Uh, the flag, yeah, Flagman Family Christmas Letter, yes. Uh, no, I got this, um... Uh, wait. He might have had the CD, yes. This is, this is, this is David Du Bois. This is the same, uh, the same one that does Craps for Christmas. So, yeah, I might have got it from the same CD.
Sounds like they're singing what? Yeah, it's Flagman. Yeah. It does sound like Wegman. Why isn't that locking? Maybe we have to do an extra little, extra little stitch. One, two, three. I want the one song to come on that I really like. Why is that? I'm, I may have to redo this. I'm not liking how part of this looks, but we're going to keep going with it. I'm not uh, spending time to get it all perfect. First time making this one, so... Wegmans, are those? Yes, actually, there's. Uh, we went. I went to Wegmans today. There's a Wegmans about about ten miles or so from me. Yes, yeah. Wegmans are uh, in PA, Maryland, Northern Virginia. Um, Dolly. <laughs> yes, that was he. Show he's so jolly instead of hello, Dolly. Um. We've had Wegmans in Maryland for, for a while now. For, I want to say, 15 years? Somewhere around there, around 15? Yeah, yeah, New Jersey, yes, yes. Yeah, we had to go there because um, they're one of the few grocery stores that carry raw turkey necks. And you're thinking, what, what? Yes, um, we use raw turkey necks in um, a lot of things at Thanksgiving. And uh, so it's not, a, it's not a, as common of a thing that you can, can find. We don't, you don't, we don't eat the bones, obviously, but the meat has been cooked and then is incorporated into to a bunch of different uh, different dishes. When mom went there, she said, Danny Wegman, bring his Ferrari and pop it. Oh, yeah, you're in uh, you're in upstate New York where they're uh, their their base, their headquartered in upstate New York. Uh, oh, work there. Ah. Um, what am I doing? Oh, okay. Uh, we're going to an ad. We will be back. I like Wegmans. Re join. You have no Wegmans? Yeah, it's a it's a northeast chain of grocery stores. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it it can be bougie, but uh, 
it's nice. They have some some nice things. One, two, one. Price chop, um, chopper. We call price gouger. Yeah. Uh, cheese, oh, oh, yes. Wegmans Cheese Department and, like, the meats and the seafood and, oh. Yeah. One, okay, this is the, this is the larger one. One, and four. <laughs> Two, three, four. Oh, yes, the bakery. Two, three, four. Yep, it is like Disneyland. And we do one join. One, join, two, one, two, one, two, three. Come on. Ah, ah, ah. Welcome back, everybody. Welcome back from break. We've been talking about Wegmans. Price, you uh, you have Price Chopper. You call Price Price Gouger. Yeah, we've uh, Wegmans can be in can be pricey. Um, um we've got a couple uh, chains in my area. That tend to be uh, higher priced. Besides, like Whole Foods. I mean, Whole Foods is nationwide, but uh, I've never been in a Whole Foods actually. We used to make grocery stores come out. Of yes, Tops, Wegmans, Super Walmart, Aldi, Price Chopper, Market Thirty Two. I don't know. 
one is a Whole Food Kroger. Yeah, yeah. We we've got we've got a ton of them too. I mean, I am in um, I'm between two major um, cities, so it's pretty much one big huge metro area. It all bleeds together, and uh, you name it, you name it. Costco. Yep, we have Costco. Price shopping market thirty the same thing. Uh, oh, welcome in Raiders. Welcome in. Let me give you a shout out. Let's do the shout out. Uh, what were you working on? What were you doing? Welcome in Catatonic Divas. Um, if you're not following Catatonic Divas, uh, you need to. They uh, um, they crochet. They make their own um, hoodies, uh, hats, scarves, accessories, and they sell them on their shop. So it's uh, um, a lot of fun, bright, bright colors. Um, but yes, what were you working on? What were you doing? Uh, Marcus is like chic, very sure. Uh, not with the emotes. Uh, yeah, that might be, that might be a, um, one of your, um, um, one of your own emotes. I think you can only use sub emotes in other streams if you are a sub to the channel. You have to use global emotes everywhere else. Uh, market is a G chopper. Scrap hoodie, almost done, minus the hood. Nice! If you have any pictures you want to share... Uh, links are open. Uh, I think you're part of my Discord. Feel free to show to share over there. Uh, welcome in. I am, if you're new here, I am the uh, I almost forgot my name. I'm the Crafty Cup Fiber Artist Crochet Needle Tatting. We're doing needle tatting tonight. Um, we are the home of the Proud Dirty Hookers. We don't wash our crochet hooks. If you wash them, you're still welcome. But uh, we are proud that we don't wash ours. Apparently, the people that do. Uh, I also specialize in teaching. Uh, crochet and intro uh, needle tatting. So if anybody has any questions, welcome in. Um, we are working on. Let me show. We're gonna be we're working on this snowflake tonight. So I have a book, uh, four dozen tatted snowflakes by Robin Robin Perfetti, and uh, we're doing uh, one of the uh, one of the snowflakes and. Uh, You'll see behind me, there's a tree. As soon as I get the ornament done, whatever the ornament is, tatted, crochet, whatever, um, um, I'll put it on the tree. So there are some behind me. Uh, I have done some bobbles. This one has to be... Th there's an issue with this one. It's a little too baggy, a little too loose. But uh, we, will, we, will, we will fix them. But uh, we've got another one. This is the same pattern that I'm working on. And we're doing some snowflakes. You pop a, pop a picture in. I, put, uh, I, I, I can speak. I can speak. You popped a picture in Discord. <laughs> um, let me take a look. Let me take. Ooh. Oh, wow. Okay. Um, I got to get the thing. Look at that. Look at that. I love your use of color. I all of the uh, pieces that you uh, that you do, the colors are just so amazing. C even if it's just like two colors, it's still the color combinations you come up with. This is very fun. This is very happy. Is this one of the uh, like a scrappy um, a hoodie that you're using up your scraps? Yeah, everybody go and follow and check out. Um, the Catatonic Divas. Um, uh, scrap from the last year. Yes, great use of scraps. Yes, use them up. 
they all they work they work wonderfully uh it's like 16 or 17 different scrap colors throughout the yes it's a great idea it's a great idea don't don't let things go to waste thank you for sharing uh let's bring the music back okay um if you need to rate and run you know the drill if you want to lurk if you want to hang out that's fine too um we were talking about grocery stores as I, uh, I'm i needle tatting the snowflake. So, uh, you said, wait, you said you wanna wear those? Yeah, you could wear these. Um, let me get this one here. I'm connected. So uh, this is another, this is not from that book. This is from, I don't know where I got this pattern from. So I did this one. This is a, a previous one. But the bobbles, this is the, uh, these are, this is one pattern. So that's one pattern I've previously done. And then there's this. So you could see how they're, they're definitely a different look. Outfit made of those. Sounds like some, yeah. Um, you can you can tat clothing. You can make you can actually make the full thing out of tatting. You can use it as um, um, as a decoration, as an embellishment. So like like this snowflake, you can make this snowflake and then attach it to clo existing clothing. So, or you can even so I mean these are plastic. You can even attach them to clothing if you wanted to. If you, or earrings or whatever you want. You can, I mean, it's art. There's no rules in art. No rules in art. Reminds me of those hemp hoodies. Oh, yes, yes, your, uh, your hoodie that you're, that you're working, yes. I was wondering how do you get the tatting around the ornament? Okay, I can show that. Um, thinking of using tatting on a wedding dress. Yes, yes. All right, this is not finished yet. It's the same pattern. Minor, there's a minor alteration. I've I've changed the stitch count from this. I made it a little smaller. And I still have to do two more rows. So you can see here, we've got this, the, the top and the bottom part. This part I haven't done yet. So I still have to, to add those. So imagine that's on there. So you got it all done. And then you've got, it's a tube. It's a tube. You're gonna slide it on. Get it into position and obviously there's going to be more here you're going to take your matching thread or coordinating thread on a needle it's the thread on a regular like sewing needle and you're going to you see the uh the little loops at the top you're going to stitch through all of them and lace them together and it cinches it up and you're gonna do the same thing there like that one that is misshapen. it yes it does kind of look like an apple i'm probably gonna take this off of it and find a bobble that's a little bit bigger so this is this is a little loose mainly because the pattern called for a slightly different bo size bobble and thinner thread this one isn't loose because i changed up the pattern it's pretty much the same type of thread it's not the thread, but same thickness. So, but uh, yeah, that's how you do it. That's one way of doing it. I know there's other ways of doing it, but basically, you just you sew it onto the the ornament, and oh, and this ah, we're caught. So this here, this is just a snowflake. So it's not meant for an ornament, but you could. You could do this and modify it. I'd have to modify the pattern to make it go around and stay on the ornament. Uh, what thread am I using? Um, for this, for this snowflake, this is just going to be just a snowflake. This one's not going to go onto a... A ball. I'm using Aunt Lydia crochet thread. Crochet cotton size 10. This is, you can get this everywhere. And it doesn't have to be Aunt Lydia, but it's a, a crochet cotton thread. You usually make doilies and 
other things with. These is it in here? Yeah. For these, I'm doing something different. Yes, the song we're listening to, it did say ram it up my ding dong. You're not hearing things. We, we listen to some strange Christmas music. Uh, oh, everything's falling. All right. Big skein or for how small? The thread. Yeah, this is the jumbo one. They come in smaller ones, but yeah, the white, usually the neutrals, the white comes into like the larger uh, skein. They normally come in uh, balls about that size. What's the name of the song? Uh, that's called Stump Master Remix. Um, actually, let me let me find it real quick. Um, there's a better version of it. Uh, let's see. Here we go. This song, this song is okay. The original version is called "Who Put the Stump." Um, before we're going to play it, I'm going to run my mouth. I want you to listen to the lyrics. Um, these are done with embroidery floss. So the pearl cotton. So it's not the embroidery floss that you... Uh, I should have these sitting out. I really should. It's not the embroidery floss that you have the six strands that you use separately or together, however many that you want to cross it with. You could, you could use it. This is a different type of embroidery floss. This, uh, you don't separate, and um, this, the pink one, is a size, what size number do we say? That's a size 5, so that is thinner than this was a size 3. So it's a slightly different, um, actually, that is not, that is not that. That is something different. That is kind of totally different. Ignore that. That is uh, closer to this weight. That's different um, cotton embroidery floss. It's uh, it's all cotton. It's a matte finish. So this this isn't doesn't have that sheen to it. Um, yes, that this is the same. This is the same stuff. So when you work with it, the sheen is still there. The satin look is still there, but. Um, there are different um, sizes. Like this, that's what it was. This is using the thinner um, version of that. And it. anybody who tests, if you've never used this, this is really good to use. It slides wonderfully. I love using that. Okay. Um, okay, so the name of the song, um, I'm gonna play the original version of it, not the original, well, yeah. It's called Who Put the Stomp by Bob Rivers. Bob Rivers has a ton of parody Christmas songs. And uh, this is called Who Put the Stomp. So pay attention to the lyrics.
Another collab. <laughs> yes. Bob Rivers. Who put the stump? <laughs> um, the other one. The other one that I like is. Oh, where's it at? Where did I put it? Um, oh, here we go. Actually, I need to take that out. One and four. Where's Classy? Where's the Classy, uh, the world-class sucker? She's asleep, probably. Dominant the donkey. Hey, witchy weaver. Yes, we are tatting a snowflake. Even though it does a Christmas bobble. <laughs> I didn't change it. We will be doing the bobble. I have great taste in music. <laughs> um, that's debatable. Some days, snowflakes. I said, yes, yeah, not real ones. I'm with you, witchy. Yes, the look of it is is nice. I love it, but I don't want none. I don't want the real ones. Two, one, two, Two, three. I don't know how I'm gonna like this. Uh, this one made. I'm. It's not gonna be perfect. Hate the snow, but I love the blue and white look of a winter theme. And yes, yeah, and silvers. Silver. I say silver, and what plays? My favorite Christmas song. This is my favorite of all time.
And it's this version, just Johnny Mathis version. Two. Oh, I'm sorry, Boo. Probably gonna put this down for a second, switch for a bit, and switch to the other to the, the bobble because I'm really getting I'm getting irritated with this pattern. I need to change a pace sometimes. Okay, come on. Come on. I'm surprised the other funny uh, Christmas song hasn't played yet. Um, last year was so bad, but this year has been great. You haven't sit celebrated since 01. Oh. Okay. We're putting that to the side. I'm here for it. It's a bit early for the music. Once Halloween is over, Christmas is fair game and over. Hates my right. Where Christmas is one of my favorites. Yeah, there's just capacity. Yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah. Um, usually me, it's like Thanksgiving. I know it's before Thanksgiving here in the U.S. We're only a few days away. Um. But I figured I put the tray up and I'm doing... Oh, this needs to be moved to the side. Um, I'm doing uh, Christmas ornaments that uh, we should uh, should at least listen to it. We can uh, switch it off. We could switch back to um, the stuff I normally play in a bit. Her album was very good. Soul music feel. Yes, it does. It does. All right. This one. It is what it says there, right there. Uh, three meters. Am I going to have three meters? No, we're going to end up adding. Add thread as we go. John Denver. Oh, I don't. I don't know if I've heard John Denver's Christmas. Okay, this pattern. Okay, there are rings and picos. I mean, ring rings and chains. This is a uh, matte um, embroidery floss that you don't separate into strands. It's not as popular in the U.S. It's more popular in Europe. Uh, there's two Christmas items you know of. One of them is... <gasps> okay, yes. Yeah, okay. Yes, I know one with the Muppets. Yes. This is where I need the thread conditioner. So last night we needed that because... Um, a week from tomorrow... A week from tomorrow will be my stream anniversary. Two years on Twitch. And... What I will be doing... We're going to have an extended stream that day. I might go on earlier. I might go in earlier. I'm not certain. But what we will, what I will be doing is some of the things that I made during my first month of streaming. Non-crochet. There was no crochet 
well, there kind of was, but the first three projects, I did not start off with crochet, believe it or not. They are going to be Christmas ornaments, so uh, they're kind of fun. I got to get all that stuff out. I know where where it is. Um, have you thought about the song "I Wish It Could Be Christmas Every Day"? I'm not. I don't know if I know that song. Imagine how much to debt people will be in, how many fights, how many people will be drunk, how much. I don't know if I know that song. It's mostly a chain. We're piecing this together. I'm using up my scraps. Um, I don't want that song. One... Wait. Three. Yeah. Okay. Wait. No. 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 Because we've already done this. <laughs> like, yeah. We're not. We. A meter. Okay. A meter. Love comedic Christmas music. Anything was on. Yes. This. This is. This is a comedy. This is Carol the Bartenders. <laughs> Do not shuttle. Okay, do not join to the Pico in the first one of the chains. Oh, okay. I got to do that. Um, I remember how to join it here. Oh, wrong hook. Need the bigger hook because it's a bigger thread. Jeff Dunham. Oh, even though I don't saw. Oh, not for streaming. Oh, okay. I'll have to uh, check it out. Okay. Excuse me. So wait, I did. I have to. I have to refer to my pattern because I changed it up. Six. I did four, four. We'll do three and three. One. Two. Three. One, two, three. Um, you know what? I'm going to try to find the song. I'm going to play one song, and then we're going to switch over to uh, what I normally listen to. Where did... Here we go.
Grammy is still here. Cut up wings. Got the marinating pickle juice. Yes, pickle wings are a thing. If you eat wings. Pickle wings at Christmas at Kmart. Now you're all going to have that in your brains, in your in your head for uh, weeks to come. All right. Dry raw baked wings a few weeks ago. Wings were from Aldi. I think they're from... Yeah, you had said that they were tiny. You said the wings were itty bitty. And the up on a chicken conversation. Yes. It's always some type of animal. And chickens aren't even my thing. I mean, I don't even have I don't even have a favorite animal. Believe it or not, I, donkeys are not my favorite animal. I don't even have one. Welcome in Aranita. Oh, chicken, my auto wasn't working when I joined streams. <laughs> Turn on the volume. Welcome in. Welcome in. That's one way to, uh, uh, yeah, uh, you are obsessed with that, those rubber chickens. So obsessed, Crojo even has rubber chickens of her own. Uh, thank you for the check-in. Oh no. You scared me. You scared me. Uh oh yes. Yeah, is that 9.5s? Is that 9.5? Yes. 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 The uh Nine the the nine point brave the the the, the flashing chicken, um, that is nine point five nine nine point five. Her theme, her theme on her on her stream is rubber chickens. And uh, she will uh, is that. Oh, I don't know. She's like, yeah, she's iconic for rubber chickens. And, um, 
don't don't cook a steak in a dryer. Don't cook a steak in a dryer. Um, you know what? I haven't been to Nine's stream in a while. We're gonna give a Nine a shout out. She is uh she's a fiber artist. She's uh, she she does other things too, I think. Let me see what clip is gonna show up. That's an old clip. Wow. Wow. <laughs> I, I I do not recognize that location where she's streaming from. Wow. Okay, you know what? Just for the heck of it, I'm going to give her another shout-out to see if we get um, a more... Um, um, recent clip. That sounds about right for 9.5. <laughs> yeah, rubber chickens, fart humor, and yeah. Um, <laughs> um, okay. Uh, yeah, she squeaks reads subscription. Yes. Um, yeah. Um, she's great. I haven't again. I haven't been in her stream in a in a while. Um, but yeah, don't cook a, a steak in a dryer. That's like that's a running bit. On her stream. Um, Thunder of Dragons! How are you, Thundy? Thunderoni? How are you? Nine point five is also a Moco Loco. She's part of the Moco Loco stream team, and uh, she does does a lot of charity streams. And she is a founding uh, one of the founders of the Twitch Creators Club Artist and Makers stream team. She's helped uh, bring that to fruition. Her and Pickstitch. Yeah, no straight steak and dryer. Yes, and that emote there is the steak. Yeah, the steak on fire in a dryer. Yeah. <laughs> but she does a lot of crochet. I don't know. Does anybody know if she does other stuff than crochet? I think I've only seen her do crochet. She does a lot of amigurumi. Oh, uh, yes, she does Lego build. Yes, she does Lego also. One, two, three. Uh, Ace Supreme, uh, Ship and I were somewhere the other day. I don't remember where, but they said something, and Ship answered, no, but you can put steak in a dryer. <laughs> it's so sad. It was so sad they had no idea what we're talking about. Yeah. IRL people don't know where yeah. 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 Um nobody I was wearing um my uh traveling tatter t shirt today, the one with the, the I forgot the name of the emote. The one that's um am, wait, am I sub to Tatter at the moment? Um no. Um, yeah. The one with the potato that uh, Art and Jess drew. And I wore it in public. And I'm thinking, okay, is somebody going to ask me what, what the heck is on my uh, on my, uh, on my my shirt? But nobody asked. Because <laughs> it's like this brown shape. And yeah, if you don't know, you don't know. Um, oh, Nine also does gaming. Okay. I didn't know that. Yes, yeah, yeah. She's done games. 
Oh, I love this song. It's 80s. It's it, <laughs> anything from the 80s I love. Uh, we re re ran the Writing Olympics GWIC stop today, and all right, people that you that you in general find Woody the talking Christmas tree cute. Oh yes, yes, in um uh, Halifax in Halifax, Nova Scotia. Yes, yes, he's cute. He is cute. I wore my t-shirt, my shirt, <laughs> Brenda, Brenda, the DoorDash, I got weird looks. <laughs> That's another streamer. That's another stream. You know what? We're going to give Art and Jest a shout out. Uh, I like Art and Jest. But I'm going to be honest. I can only be in, in Brenda's stream maximum 15 minutes because it's a lot it's a lot <laughs> so uh if you don't know what we're talking about um that emote that emote that uh ghost glass put in there put in that is uh one of brenda's emotes and she draws a um a little sketch for anytime somebody raids into her and uh, Tatter raided into her, and it's this potato. I don't have the emote because I'm not sub to Tatter at the moment. Um, yeah. So uh, here we go. Here, this is a, we're gonna see. We're gonna see what's going on. What type of clip we're gonna get? That's that 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 clip sums it up. All these clips are summing it up. Um, so yes, go and uh, follow Art and Jess. I've never seen Brenda do any art. <laughs> she might. I don't know. Um, don't want. Yeah, don't water your computer. Yeah, Brenda tried to water her computer. Um, not water cool. Like water cooling is a thing, but no. Yeah. Um, Camp Chaos, yes, Camp Chaos got into crafting stream. Nice, yeah. I, I, I don't think I've, I've caught any uh, Camp Chaos streams. Um, yeah. So, those are some of the, uh, some of the um, uh, crafting communities streams. Uh, I don't think Tatter's any of them right now, but she has the Halloween ones. I said chaos. I said the c word. I need to make. I need to make him a little Santa hat. I need to make. I need to make the hamster a Santa hat. Um, but she has the Halloween ones. But that's the one that Brenda did for Hal at one point. Ah, okay. Um, wound up watching almost all of them this past July. Chaos, yes, chaos. <laughs> chaos is everyone's friend. Yes, Tatter did do Camp Chaos. I think Tatter's done this year, and I think last year she might have done Camp Chaos. Several people made hats instead of the Tatting project. It, yes, Spy Guy, yes. Look! Look at him going. He's got. He's got the. He's got the. What, the skills? Do they call it that? Do they? Do they call it that still? Yeah, I'm gonna have to make him a, a Santa hat. Wow. 
it hit the, uh, the my camera mount. Uh, not if you do first. Wait, not if, not if you do first what? I'm joking. Definitely don't have the time. Need to finish. Ah. <laughs> I can easily make them a hat. A beanie? Yeah. <laughs> Did you put pel Yes! Yeah, uh, yesterday. Um, wait, you'll, wait. You'll DM me a reminder. Staring at red and white yarn right now. <laughs> I got it. I got it. I'll be, I have red and white, white yarn. <laughs> Yes, I put the bells on the, uh, the, the the hat. I did that yesterday. We did that yesterday. I'll get the ha that hat out in a second. Got to run to work. All right. Only half a block away. You've got a quick commute. Uh, okay. Let me get the hat. Let me get the hat. Let me get the hat. I'm going to add more. I'm going to have to add more Jingle Bells. But we added, yeah, it needs more. It's a little sparse. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, I'll have to do that before Thursday. <laughs> I love it too. I love it. I think the pa yeah the pattern should be in my Discord. One, two. Sweet milk, ham, sweet milk. Drink it up, feeling silk. You see, and so milk is the key. Shipwrecks got me in a world. And so milk is my new world. We're milking over We're pulling a stunt. And we're on. And we're out on our heads. And we're new wrecks stream before bed. So milk, hamster milk, drink it up, feeling silk. See, hamster milk is the key. Shipwreck got me on a world. We have milk in a new world. Yeah, it should be in the pattern section. Let me double check. Let me double check. It should be. Oh, yes. Yeah, you got to scroll up a little bit. Yes. Um... Yes. Thank you, Blue. Thank you, Blue. I uh, don't know if I'm going to get around making this year, but I'm definitely going to make some for next year, so I might be doing some out-of-the-season Christmas stream. Yes, yes. I'm going to be doing that, too. Um, these these ornaments. These ornaments. Um, I'm going to be... Uh, I'm going to be making a, a lot of them. And... Uh, I'm gonna make some. I'm making some now. Oh, I hope this isn't gonna be too. Let me test. Um. Oh no, this will be fine. This will be just fine. Yeah, this that that would be perfect. Um. 
some of these I'm going to give a few of these as gifts. And uh, after the holidays, I'll make a bunch and stock up, my in build up my inventory, and I'm going to end up uh, trying to sell them. Two, three, and I will put them on my Kofi. I haven't touched my Kofi in months. I need to spend some time on the Kofi and post things there. I think I might do better if I have physical items instead of just commission pieces. Christmas and Halloween sells year round. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah I want to get a, a bunch made. Uh, so far, I won't. These are the only two patterns that I've done. I've done that pattern, and then this pattern I'm working on. So there are a bunch more, bunch more patterns that I want. And I will probably make some snowflakes too, and and sell those. And I've got a lot of patterns for crocheted snowflakes. Two, three. Uh, oh, we only got uh, a couple more. Got one more of these chains here. Uh, do you have crochet snowflake recommendations? Oh, the book I have is probably out of print uh try to crocheting and baba want to mix it up a bit um give me a second give me a second let me lock this in place i have one more chain on that round to do the book I have is probably from the, the late 90s, early 2000s. Could always tat around them, but I'm slow at that. Tatting, yeah, yeah. Uh, the crocheted snowflake book I have is this one's from Leisure Arts. It's called 99 Snowflakes. Uh, let's, we're gonna snooze an ad. This is, let me see if there's a copper. 1998. So, um, you might be able to find this on, like, eBay or somewhere online, secondhand. Uh, it's from Leisure Art, so it's a, it's a popular, they make all different types of craft, um, booklets and kits. Uh, 99 Snowflakes, and the pictures are black and white. So, but, I've made some of these. Some of them are small, like, some are, like, one and three quarter inch diameter, some are two, three, so they're different sizes in here. And there are 99 snowflakes in this book. And there are some cool ones. I haven't done it yet. Let me see if I can find it. So, all of these pretty. That one is really pretty. That one is pretty. I think I sent you some snowflake patterns. I know I sent you Christmas. Yeah, if anybody has any um, snowflake um, crochet or and any patterns, not just snowflakes, but any patterns that they want to share, the uh, in the Discord, the pattern section, anybody can post on there. But there's one I want to, these I want to show. These are three-dimensional. So you basically, you do the pattern three times, and then I think you starch them. And then you join them together. You kind of like fold them a certain way. So they are three-dimensional, like that one. These are all three-dimensional. Uh, look at look at blue. Look at blue. Uh, oh, okay. Oh, that's volume two. So that must be the, uh, the, um, the updated current version. Okay, that's just volume two. So that might be just a revised, updated um, one. That one is pretty cool. So 
Um, I, I like that. I've made made about a dozen, but the ones I've made are the small ones. Um, when I get out my Christmas tree, not this Christmas tree, I have another Christmas tree that goes in my window that gets uh, silver and white ornaments on it. I'll leave off the snowflakes and I'll show them on stream. I'll probably get those out um, some sometime this week. But that's what I would recommend because 99, 99. And then the one that Blue sent, that's volume two. I don't know if they're duplicates. But if that's the case, that's like almost 200 snowflakes. That's. I think you'll be set with snowflake patterns. And it's crochet. And you know, with crochet. You don't have to use the uh, thread. You can use yarn. It's just going to be a lot bigger. So you got to keep that in mind that if you make one of the big, big uh, patterns in a book in larger yarn, it's going to be huge. Okay. Thank you for the follow. Okay, we're going to have an ad starting soon. I think I'm going to take a bio break during that ad. And uh, before we do that, I'm going to weave in my ends. I have to do what I did there one more time on this side, and then each side gets one more round. So I have three more. I have three more rounds left to do on this. We might we might get this finished. We'll see how it's gonna how it's gonna attach. All right, we're we're gonna have an ad, like I said, in a minute. Come on. Come on. Got to get out the pliers. Come on. Here we go. There. Okay. All right. I will be back. And the ad will be running.
Welcome back, everybody. Welcome back. Thank you for the follow. I'm getting like followers left and right. Welcome back. Okay, let me double check to see how this is going to work. Yeah, yeah. It's already looking a lot better. It's it's not as gappy. I have one more round to do on that side. It's not as gappy. Too many stitches. Too many stitches. That's going to be too short. That's another long piece. Hey there, Razor. How are you? I got to condition the thread because... It doesn't want to stay all twisty. Twistity, that's a word. Twistity, did you know that? It's a word now. There we go. That's what we need. Breathing? Well, I hope you're breathing. Yeah, breathing is good. Breathing is... Breathing is kind of important. Um, where do we do... Don't want to wear the Picos. One, two, three. I'm working on a uh, one of my bobbles. What does everybody call that? One of these ornaments. What do you call this? There are different names that people use for that. A bobble, okay. Tree balls, ball, yeah. We, I've always called them balls. I had a friend. She would call them bulbs. I'm like no, bulb is the light. The bulb is a, like a light bulb. Um. Globes, okay, yeah. Call it an ornament, okay. P yeah, call them bulbs. No, that's not a bulb. A bulb is something you burn. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah, like a tulip. Yes. <laughs> or a light bulb that you put into a lamp. Or the lights on the tree. Yeah. I never corrected her, but I'm like, oh, no, no, that's a ball. <laughs> oh, I do. I haven't talked to that friend in years. Many years. Yeah. Uh, back to the desert. She was also the one, and it's very common. It's very common in this part of the of the country. I don't even have one. I don't even have one because I don't use them. Um, what do you call the, the the wax sticks that in kindergarten you 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 color with? The little wax sticks, and you're gonna you're gonna type it, and it's how you pronounce it. So you guys aren't gonna be able to say it. Um, does it screw into the ornament hanging piece? No, it doesn't. No, a thick thing. No, no, no. She wasn't. Yeah, no. Um, 
Stay hydrated. Yes, yes. Yes, Crojo. Yes, no, you're wrong, Crojo. <laughs> she would call it crowns. No, it's not a crown. It's a crayon. It's a crayon, not a crown. Or it's not a crayon. Some people call them crayons. It's not a crayon. Uh, just south of Drosser Tree. Nice. Yeah. Thank you, Aranita. Yes. Now, the, now these are different. These are not. These are not the same thing. These are in the U.S. These are colored pencils. But in Canada, they are. They're. They're um, pencil crayons. They're pencil crayons. I think it's pronounced like crowns or crayons. No, it's crayon. It's no, it's crayon. Crayon means pencil in French. It's French. Crayon. That's French. Crayons de color. That's French. <laughs> and a teacher said, cr "Wait, wait, wait." Cyrayons? 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 Just about anything. Anything wrong and vibe with it because it's still yes. Think I know which friend. Long hair, copper tone. No, 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 Grammy. Long hair, yes. Long hair, not copper tone. Extra dark tint. No, no. Um, I knew both Grammy. I knew both of those people at the same time. So, <laughs> uh, long hair, long hair. Um, um. You were at their wedding. Grammy was at their wedding. <laughs> at her wedding. That narrows it down to two. <laughs> um, let's see here. Okay, I think we're caught up. Now, what Grammy is thinking of, this other friend, co-worker friend, well, both of them were co-workers and friends. Um, the one Grammy is thinking of what do you call the animal, the animal that is not always, but usually it's orange and black stripes. It's a cat from like Asia, like Southern Asia, like India, parts of China. <laughs> Tigger is one. Tigger is one. My fr that friend, she didn't. She did not pronounce it tiger. That was tagger. That was a tagger. <laughs> like what? What? Yeah, a tagger. Yeah. She also s pronounced the past tense of clean. Cleaned. Have you cleaned your room? She she pronounced it Clint. Clint. <laughs> yeah, I've had weird friends over the years. <laughs> they were both really nice. Where was she from? Um, she was originally from West Virginia. Yeah, yeah, Tagger. The mountain, well, mountains of West Virginia. It's all mountains. She was from West Virginia. <laughs> yeah. Tagger and Clint. Not not to be confused with Clen. Clen is a, a, a fellow streamer. That's, that's different. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Clay Miko knew uh, both of these, of these people. <laughs> that wouldn't be high tide, would it? Wait. High tide? You mean oh you mean tide water? No, no. Tide water is the coastal areas of Virginia, southern parts of Maryland, and into North Carolina. Yeah. West Virginia is not is not coastal. We have all in strain co workers like the one with the Grammy, Grammy had a coworker that had a fox fox coat. 
It was actually F A U X, fox coat, like a faux fox, but she pronounced it fox fox. F faux F A U X. That's French, also. We've had. Oh, okay. I've already read that. Yeah, we've had. We've met interesting people, and. These are people in person. These weren't on weirdo online people like I mean on Twitch. <laughs> and yes, that's directed to everybody here. <laughs> Two. Three. Or, oh, 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 no, it might have been a Fox link. Either way, either way, either way, it was, yeah. And I just did that backwards. Uh, good two shoes. Welcome in. Don't talk about yourself that way. Yes, oh, I am weird. You've known that. Everybody here knows. That. Anybody who's spent five seconds in my stream knows that I'm a weirdo. Lots of French influence in England. Yes, yes. G er, Germanic. English is Germanic, not romantic. Yes, French is a Germanic. No, French is a romance language. English is Germanic. But they're all, they're both Indo-European. They all belong to the same family of languages. They're just different branchos, br branchos, branches. Hello, stranger. Wait, yes, you, yeah, you mod for a weirdo. Yes, might need to rethink this. <laughs> she also uh, got her gas for a car at the Axion. The Axion, yes. <laughs> the Axion instead of Exxon. Exxon is a, if you're not, well, everybody probably knows about, even out, Internationally, they're one of the big oil companies. Uh, yeah, Norman, Norman French, yes. Well, history, the Normans did conquer England. William, William the Conqueror, he was from the Norman part of France. Oh. It all makes sense. But I haven't really been in many Exxon stations since leaving the <laughs> Side of Exxon. <laughs> oh, you don't have a lot of uh, Exxon stations out there? Um, 1066, yes. She wanted to know what an AMBO, AMBO is. That's a whole long story. That, that was, yeah. That. Basically, they were trying to pronounce the word amoeba, and they pronounced it AMBO or a AMBO. Not a linguist, just watch a lot of you. Yes, me too. I'm not a linguist either, but I love I love history. Um, I like U.S. history, but I also love um, well, world history. But it's, uh, I like U.S. history and European history. Not really any excellence here. Oh, you, yes, you have Sinclairs. We don't have Sinclairs here. That's the one with the dinosaur, with the green brontosaurus. Uh, and I'm curious to whom you're referring to. Wait, which one? Which one, Crojo? Which one? <laughs> I haven't seen a Wawa or Sheets. Oh, yeah, Wawa and Sheets are... Uh, that's definitely this part of the East Coast. They're not even all of East Coast. That's like a Maryland, Pennsylvania, Virginia. Well, Wawa's also New Jersey and Delaware. The one that talks weird. Oh, I've talked about a couple of them that talk weird. <laughs> uh, I was watched on the other day. That was about Victorian sounded like. It was a bunch of recording from British Victorian. Yes. Yes. Um, but yeah, Crojo, the one with the tagger and Clint. I don't think you ever met her. You might have met her once. We had a, a Christmas party one year, and she was there. <laughs> I worked with her. Re. One, two, three. 
I never, I didn't, I didn't really hang out with her outside of work. So it wasn't somebody that was, I was around a lot besides work. Oh no, I'm catching my tail. I don't want to catch the tail right there. Okay. How many more do I have to do? Oh, I still got a ways to go. Okay. Two, three, one, two, three. I was thinking of the girl whose boyfriend's mother smoked in the court. She was the one that pronounced it crayon. Or crown, crayon. She pronounced it, yes, yes. That was the one I was talking about originally. That, yes. Yes, well, they're now married. Um, yeah, his mother. Um, she was a she was a nurse, and she would max max. She would match her lighter, the color of her lighter, to the color of scrubs that she wore. She had she had some pro she had some issues. She had some issues. Uh, it was actually. She and the other co-worker with a multi-choice. Oh, okay. Grammy's talking about Grammy's co-worker. She and another co-worker with a multi-choice question to win a McDonald's fry. How many cells in an amoeba? When I told her one, um, said it couldn't be right. They won a free small. They won the free small fry and offered to split it three ways. Yes. Uh, husband is making roast hip jelly. Ooh. Been in the kitchen all day. I told the kids it's Hunger Games tonight and to feed them. Ah, yes. Did you see Eric's friend in Wawa a few years ago? Uh, yes, I think, uh, I think Crojo did run into, uh, into, uh, that, to her. Did it really, wait. It censored... No, it didn't censor it on my end. Wait. Did you say... Wait, I didn't see anything that said three ways. Oh, no, no. Grammy... Yeah, Grammy... Oh, it censored for everyone else. Oh. Yeah, I guess... I have to go... I have to figure out how to go into there. And fix that. Okay, yeah. It didn't like the term three ways... I don't know if that's on my end, because I have, like, my, uh, profanity banned word sensor, like, set, you can pretty much say it almost anything. Well, not anything, but I don't have, not, don't have it really set pretty high. It's not censored there. Oh! Maybe it's on Witchy Weaver's end. Hmm. Three. One. Two. Three. Hey there, Ioners. Ioners. Well, that picture. Oh, hmm. We're not going there. We're not going there. How are you, uh... Is it ironers or laners? I don't know if that's an I or an L. I think that's an I. Yeah, that would be an I. Oh, L. Oh, Laney. Oh, welcome in. Okay, it's an L. <laughs> I don't know my letters. <laughs> I don't know my letters. Uh, Twitch censor some of the weirdest shit. I've put all kinds of profanity in chat. No big deal. But the, oh, I'm, yes. 
Like cat butthole. Yes. Yeah. Twitch. Twitch. Okay. I don't know if I'm gonna... Yeah, I think I'll have enough. I think I will have enough for... Um, this. Two. Three. Question about crochet? All right. Go right ahead. I will answer it after I... Uh, get this the best cake winder for ch oh hmm I don't usually use chunky yarn you're gonna want a ball winder your, your hands yes or you're gonna want a ball winder that has a large spindle like a larger than normal my ball winder is it's packed away um large spindle and a large enough space because when you have your ball winder you get your spindle usually it's on an angle which you want one at an angle I've seen ones that are straight on I've heard they're not good I've never used one but you want the spindle to be at an angle and usually there's like an arm that guides your your threat your yarn you want it to be obviously built large enough there is one. I've never bought one. They're expensive. Um, Stanwood. If you look up a Stanwood a ball winder, yarn winder, it's made out of wood and, well, the base is wood, and it's steel. It's like, it's heavy duty. And I think the gears, the gears are, I don't know if they're hard nylon or if they're steel. They might have different versions. But they're expensive. But uh, I don't think there's an, many inexpensive ones that are good for chunky or bulky yarn. So, I yeah. You're probably your best bet is to uh, wind them by hand. Uh, so you tried your hands. It gets tangled. Yeah. Um, what you could do... What you could do is um wrap it around something like um perfect time of year a cardboard tube like a christmas paper tube or a paper towel tube as something to, to to base it on you can do that um hmm I'm not sorry. I don't. I don't usually use chunky yarn, and if I do, I leave it in the the skein form that it comes in, or I hand one to a ball. And yeah, it can get tangled and can be a pain. But that's a really good question. That is a good question. How would you use your hands? Maybe I'm doing it wrong. Um, I can give a demo. Okay, this is a hand wound, hand wound ball that I made. Um, so I can demo the way I do it. This is the way I do it. So now it might be difficult with the chunky yarn. You're probably not gonna do it as many times uh, to start off with that you do with a worsted weight. But this is the way I do it. I put the thread in my palm, in my thumb, and around my pinky and then we do like a figure eight we do this a few times this is how I start it do it a few times and you're gonna do it less if it's chunky if you you can't hold on to it so I'm gonna do a bunch more than you would for chunky and then when you get a bunch there then I'm gonna pinch it take it off and I'm gonna fold this in half so I'm gonna fold that all in half and then I'm just gonna I'm gonna wind. I'm gonna wind in the center and then fold it in half and wind and wind. And as you go, see if you watch, this hand is wrapping while this hand is slowly, the left hand is slowly turning the ball around. Now it's it's like getting flat. So now I'm gonna turn it this way. 
and wrap it around this way for a bit and then you change it and you just change change your angle constantly so I'm moving with my left hand I'm always rotating it ever so slightly to get it more of a ball shape it doesn't have to be perfect perfectly a ball there are ways to do a hand wrap ball that's center pull I don't know how to do that so if I'm hand wrapping a ball it's gonna be pulling from the outside and you keep going until now if you if you notice things are slipping off like that if it's if it's slipping off make it a little tighter you don't want it so tight that you're gonna like stretch out the yarn but make it a little tight tighter doing it wrong wrapping it around your finger yeah yeah so that's how I start it that's how I do them so it's a pretty good question so and now I'm just gonna wrap it back on so when it gets bigger like this Again, my left hand is moving it around so it's not all getting in one spot and getting lopsided. Mainly so it doesn't all fall, like slide off, because then that's where you get the tangle. It's the, the movement around and around. That's a good question. That's a... I've never, I, I don't think I've had that, that uh, question on, uh, on stream before. Welcome in, Yadarika. How are you? Okay. All right. We have one more, one more chain to do. One more chain. I can't tack with the crochet hook. Worn out and tired. Uh, yeah. How are you feeling? Are you still feeling ill? I know the kids are probably still sick. Come on. Well, yeah. Yes, there is crow tatting. There is crow I don't know how to do that. I need to learn that. Let's see. And I'm over here gathering up supplies to uh, make a bobbin lace pillow. And I haven't even crow tatted, which is a combo of crochet and tatting. Uh, yeah, it's it's like tad. It's it's a mixture of crochet and tatting, and it has its own. You can get special hooks for it, but you can also do it with a crochet hook. I have never done it. I know KB Fibers here on Twitch crow tats. Kids are antibiotic. Uh, I'm gonna get tested. Um, do a quick video on how to make a finger wound ball with a center pull. Yes, yeah, if, if you don't mind, if you don't mind ADK Dragon, that would be great. Oh, I'm, am I going to have enough here? I don't want to, we're not going to end. I'm at the very last chain. Oh, no, I don't like it when it's like this. I'm almost like finger tatting. I get one more double stitch, one more double stitch. Oh, that's going to make it difficult. to Ooh, that's going to be difficult. If you got to get a kid. Yeah, take your time. Yeah, take your time. Okay. Yeah, that's going to be difficult, but it, at least I'm at the end. And I don't have to add more and I had enough, so I kind of want it yarn, uh, thread chicken. I think I want it thread chicken there. All right. Now the trick will be weaving in my ends. And I still have two more rounds to do on this. So they're not super quick. Tatting, tatting isn't always a quick thing. Ooh, that's kind of pulled a bit, but that's fine. We're gonna we're gonna cinch it up. Okay, 
I want to go in again. I think I don't want it to rethread my needle. Again, not my favorite part of tatting. But this needle does does help. It does make it a lot easier. That is like my favorite needle for this. Where's the other tail? Okay. Come on. There we go. Come on, come on. Thank you. Sometimes you have to talk to your talk to your thread and your projects. Is this going to be enough? Um, to heck with it. We got plenty. We've got plenty of this thread. We'll get another skein of it. That one's going to be too short. That's going to be too short. And that's going to be too short. That's where we get the, uh, the clothespin. I'll rip the paper off because, yeah, I think they're, the glue kind of loosened up a bit. Getting, I don't want to get a knot in this. And I just got it. As soon as I said that, it got a knot. Oh, I just thought of something. I could practice bobbin lace with some of this embroidery floss. I have so much of it. It'll be thicker and heavier than traditional lace. Thinking can be, da oh, thinking's always dangerous. Thinking is extremely dangerous. Okay. 
how much do I need on row four? Okay, it's mostly chains with a little bit of rings. Let me get my clip. Gotta, gotta condition the thread again. <clears throat> I need to practice adding beads to tatting. I've never done it. I could use a needle threader, but I think the eye on this is too thin. Dang it, I did it again. You know what? We're gonna try the beeswax. Oh, that might work. Yes, that worked a lot better. Okay. Uh, we got to, okay, that, we got to join. Wait. Let me see something here. Join to the Pico and the adjacent chain. Okay, we did that. Do not cut. Okay, yeah. Uh, chain four. Wait, where are we starting? Are we starting here? First chain on row three. Chain four to the first. Yeah. Yeah. That's what we're doing. That's what we're doing. Good two shoes is calling everyone out. my needle <coughs> excuse me excuse me I don't know bit of a stretch there everyone yes everyone <laughs> everyone <laughs> Why am I nugget? Why am I nugget? <laughs> don't know. I don't understand. <sighs> okay. Four. Join to that. And do the. Okay. One, two, three, and four. Again, this pattern is post pinned at the top of chat. Well, everyone mat. Yes, everyone matters. Yes.
Oh, I should not have done four. Because I only did three on that. I'm following the pattern and I'm forgetting that I've modified the pattern. So, we got to... Take out those stitches. Okay. So what what did I do on the row before? Five, and this is doing four. So I did three. Maybe I should do two. Maybe I should do two. Beeswax again. Do kids still say, mind your beeswax? We used to say that when we were kids. Probably not. They probably don't say that anymore. One, two. I'm trying to see how many of these I need to do. Don't think so. Yeah, they have all new words. Nun Nanya, yes, Nanya, Nanya business. Yes, we said that too. No, they say who asked you, and it. Oh, doubtful. I know they say bra. Yeah, hey bra, hey bra. <laughs> uh. And what is the other one? Bet. What does that mean? I don't know what that means. What does bet mean? I mean, I know what the word bet means, and I've I know I know the the, the term. Yeah, I'll, I yeah I bet. I know what that means, but hate problem is now. <laughs> Uh, we also said no da, no da, or no doy. Yes. Uh, every generation has their own slang. Uh, yeah. Wait. Oh, fuck yeah. Let's do it. Ah, okay. Bet. Uh, challenge accepted. Originally derived from the African American vernacular English, up a, a bet emerged as a way to confirm or agree with a statement. It's akin to saying, okay, sure thing, agreed. The term like originated from the gambling world where bet serves as a declaration of confidence agreed. Oh, okay. It's pronounced bay? No, bay, B A E. I know what that is. B A E. Before anyone else, that's like your bae. That's like your 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 best friend or your 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 significant other uh, other other other. That 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 that's what bae is. But bet is pronounced bet. That's what I've heard. I mean, I, who am I? I'm some old person. I don't know. <laughs> uh, two. Pico 2. Speaking is hard. I've been doing it for 40 some years and apparently I can't even do that. Two. Bay is an acronym. Yes, thought it was just an even shorter. No. Yeah, it's an acronym. Yep, it's an acronym. Sounds the same, but two different meanings. Ah. Okay, well. Sixth grader probably knows more than we do. Uh, you're putting it in Discord. Alrighty. Thank you, ADK Dragon. If anybody wants to, to know how to do a center pool uh, hand wound ball, ADK Dragon is putting it in Discord. In my Discord.
Okay, I'm still doing that the same. Yeah. So that's three instead of four. Yeah, we'll do three. One, two, three. Yeah, this is this is the round that I do. I have to do a lot of uh, um, block joins. Again, if anybody is uh, needle tatting or even shuttle tatting and they've never done a lock join, this might be a good project for you. You, you get practice. You get lots of practice. One, two, three. Okay, another lock join. Gonna head out and resume my binge watching of the old head of the class. No comment. No comment. Um, now you're old. Have fun. Alrighty. You have a good night, Crojo. I'm gonna be working on this for a bit <clears throat> before we uh, raid out. I am getting hungry. We're not writing out now. We're not. It'll be a while. Two. Three. Ten megabytes of this. Oh, no. Throw it on YouTube. Yes. Yeah. That, that could work, too. Yeah. They do have a, f a file limit. I know what I need to do. I need to test this. I'm going to do this join, and uh, I'll test it on the bobble to see how it's... Oh, no. I split it. Hopefully, that's not going to cause it to have issues. Cause this join to be a little strange here. 
Okay. You know what? I'm just going to keep going. I'm going to keep going. I'll test it after I get past that area. Two. Go one. Two. Come on, don't, don't mess up with me. Don't. Okay. Thread was being a butthead. to go. One, two, three. checking right now but here's the link and uh, okay let me yep yep it worked thank you thank you Welcome in, Raiders. How was your stream? What were you doing? I want to know. I'm going to give you a shout out. Welcome in, Jack of All Crafts. Aww. Oh, I thought there was a dog at first. <laughs> It's a gas mask. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Um, what were you working on? What were you doing? Um, let's see here. Um, oh, the places you'll go with Jack of All Crafts. A crafting octopus so clever and spry. From Hobbit noises to Star Wars prep. Oh, my. They're sewing and crafting a, two, a true DIY whiz. Alcoholic or virgin. Come join the biz. Oh, LGBTQ friendly. A garden so grand. Oh, the fun you'll have. Come take a stand. Um, I was making warm arm warmers that are hobbit. Ooh. Ooh. Um, if you have anything you want to share, um, let, uh, let us know. Links are open. If you have an Instagram or if you want to join my Discord. Exclamation point Discord will get you the link. Uh, but welcome in. I am the Crafty Cob, fiber artist here on Twitch. Uh, usually it's crochet or needle tatting. We're doing needle tatting tonight. Uh, we've done some other uh, crafts in the past. We are also the home of the proud dirty hookers as I throw the hook across the room. Uh, we don't wash our crochet hooks here. Apparently there are, pe there are people that do. If you do, you are still welcome. Um, and I specialize in teaching crochet and intro needle tatting. Uh, so if anybody has any questions, feel free to ask. Uh, we have a Lord of the Rings night you're prepping for. Ooh. Ooh, yeah. Um, oh, there's the, there's the, there's the um, Instagram. Let me check this here. Um, a little bit of Yadarika say, of course, that comes up right as I come back. It was a creepy episode. Go job on the project. Clip a show with a Doctor Who reference. Uh, okay. Um, let's see. Okay, let's, let's take a look here. Uh, let me give you a follow. 
Alrighty, let's see some of the things that you have made. Uh, Barbie Girl, Barbie World. Oh, a, a little bag for Barbie. That's kind of cool. That's cool. All the, anything that's miniature, I love miniature things. Uh, let's see, what else do we have? Uh, that's for Pride. Oh, oh. Eight yards of fabric. Oh, wow. And that's faux fur. Wow. That's a lot of... That's a lot of uh, fur. Let's... Ooh. Um, oh, is that a... Um, oh, this is... Um, uh, Star Wars. This is Star Wars. Yeah, I, I know. I know Star Wars. <laughs> that's the uh, Millennium Falcon. Maybe. Or is it a newer version? Of, of, yeah. I, I've only watched like... The original movies that came out in the 70s and 80s, and I think the ones that came out in the 90s. Um, link tree. Oh, yeah, if you want to push your link tree, uh, you can go ahead and do that. So we've got some uh, more bags. These bags are kind of cool. No, not kind of cool. They are very cool. Yep, there's Darth Vader. I, I, I know Vader. <laughs> well, not personally. Uh <laughs> That would be weird. That would be weird if I knew Vader personally. Um, oh, I like this one. With C, uh, C, C3PO and R2D2. I think that's R2D2. And whatever that... I don't remember the... I don't I don't know the other ones. Oh, and there's the baby... Uh, the baby alien. Um, oh, we got some perler beads. Kermit! BB-8. Okay. I think I've 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 heard I heard that name. Uh, Kermit. Yeah, they are. Ooh. Okay. Okay. I didn't even look. I didn't even look at the caption. Okay. You got me. You got. Wait. Is this pearl? Is that perler beads? Yeah. They're, no. Or is that Lego? Is the owl Lego? Okay. Your eyes can be so cruel, just as I can be so cruel. Does that anybody knows what that's from? I know this. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. This is, this is like my favorite. Um, and the owl. And the clock with 13. Oh. Perler bee. Yes. Labyrinth. This is labyrinth. This is right up my alley. <laughs> uh, um, there are many ones. Ah. Yeah, that... that you, you've done a great... I like the... Uh, the mix. The mix of the perler beads with the paint. I like the mixed media. Okay. You've, uh... You've, um... Definitely, uh, sparked my interest with anything Labyrinth. Uh... Oh! We've got some rainbow! Uh, is that the crocodile stitch? Looks like the crocodile stitch, or the mermaid stitch. Not I. I just recently uh, made a uh, a project with that stitch. I love that stitch. Uh, Moco, wait, are you a Moco, or are you uh, are you just part of their community? Are you a Moco? I'm a Moco. <laughs> um. Oh, we got some uh, fingerless gloves. You're just part of the community. Um, that would pair neat with some fingerless gloves of the same stitch. Hey, and there's some fingerless gloves. They're not the same stitch. But, yes, yeah, speaking of, are you psychic? I mean, you're a witch. So. <laughs> uh, let's snooze this ad. Let's look at a few more. Oh, let me scroll. Let's scroll down. These are the type of gloves. You're, oh. I'm not. Oh, no, I did make a pair of fingers gloves. Um, you do a little bit. Definitely jack of all crafts. You do a little bit of every... Oh, we got some Star Trek. And a kitty. A kitty cat and a Doctor Who. And is this... Is that Sailor Moon? I'm not familiar with Sailor Moon. I want to say that's Sailor Moon. Um, and there's a kitty. And that's Sonic. 
Yeah, you've got a lot. You've got a lot on your Instagram. I've just followed you. Thank you for rating in. Um, thank you for sharing. Uh, if you need to uh, write in Ron and do after stream things, go ahead and do that. Uh, we're probably going to have... Oh, we, no. I was going to say we we're going to have an ad soon, but no, we've got about five minutes. Um, but yes, uh, I think I'm following you on Twitch already. Yes, I am. But uh, let's see here. It's hard not to be a jack of all crafts. gotten so many different things. It's not... Yes, yes. You're off to bed. All right, Blue. All right, yes, get some sleep. Be running to get a friend from work. All right, Jack of All Crafts, thank you. Again, thank you for rating in. Uh, we are working on a crochet, not crocheted, a tatted bobble, a Christmas bobble. So this is going to go inside, and it's going to cover it up. It's going to kind of look like this, but a lot better than this. This looks a little, a little. It shouldn't be like that. So, um you're envious. Uh, it takes a little practice, but um, put away the dirty hook. Yes, the dirty the hook is put away. Um, it takes some practice, but it can be done. And I needle tat. Uh, some people shuttle tat. So it does the same thing. It's just a different tool. And we also make a knot. Uh, gosh, that's your username. Yes, yeah, that's their username, Jack of All Crafts. I wasn't just saying that to be funny. <laughs> like, that's 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 their username. <laughs> you wasn't paying attention. That's okay. I, I do the same. I do the I do the same in streams. If if you were in Bray Crochet's stream earlier today, and when she was grading out, oh, I was not paying attention. <laughs> not paying attention. I thought she was going to raid Lady Cricket Bug, and I thought... When it said raid was started, I thought Lady Cricket Bug was raiding her. <laughs> um, where do we? Oh, we do. Wait. Wait, wait, wait. Oh! Speaking of raids, double raid. Um, welcome in. Let me give you a shout out, Vivi. How are you? How was your stream? Uh, what were you working on? What were you doing? Uh, if you were new here... Oh. Oh. We got another clip. Um, Um, yeah, the stream is full of coinkadinks. Yes, yes. Technically triple because you, you got another group that just raided you. Ah, well, welcome in, raiders. Playing Pokemon, Ranger, Shadows of, uh, Almia? Uh, I'm not familiar with that game. Um, did you have a good time? Did you have a good, good time with your, uh, your Pokemon? I barely know what Pokemon is. But welcome in. I am the Crafty Cub, a fiber artist. Uh, usually it's crochet or needle tatting. We're doing needle tatting tonight. But uh, we are the home of the Proud Dirty Hookers. We don't wash our hooks. If you do, you can still hang out with us. We don't discriminate. Uh, apparently there, there are people that wash them. I don't understand. And I also specialize in teaching crochet and uh, beginner intro uh, needle tatting. So if you have anything to share, I know you were playing Pokemon. But if you have anything you want to share... Uh, feel free to post uh, a link or my add something to the Discord, and I can't speak. Um, and if you need to write and run and take care of yourself, uh, by his, by by all means, uh, go ahead and do that. We're getting uh, there's going to be an ad starting in about five minutes, so uh, um, keep that in mind, everybody. Wiping hooks can always help you when you worked with wool. Yes. Okay. Yes, if you've got, uh, if, if you're wearing, if you're wearing, if you're using a uh, wool that has a lot of linolin left in it that hasn't been uh, um, cleaned out, because there are some, there are some yarn 
that you want that. That yes, okay, that does make sense. Uh, nothing to share today. Gonna lurk and enjoy your crafting. Alrighty. Well, thank you for rating in. We are doing a, a Christmas ornament bobble, um, a tatted bobble cover. Oh, this might be a little too tight. So it will be slipped over this ornament, and we will um, kind of stitch it, lace it together, and it will be our ornament, and it will go on our tree. That's our. That's right behind us. Uh, let me bring music back. Okay, where are we? We need to go right in here. Okay, don't split the yarn or the thread like we did earlier. Okay. Pull that. Do the thing. And then we, you know, I didn't need even need this tail to be that long. Because all of the, uh, all the stuff is done from the ball. Video link is in what? Okay. Um, yes, if anybody um, wants to learn how to do a center pole hand wound yarn ball in uh, the whips channel in my Discord, ADK Dragon has made a video for that. So if anybody was interested. I'm going to take a look at it. I've seen... Some people do do videos of it, but I've never actually tried it out. So I'll have to practice that at some point, And maybe that might be how I'll hand wind balls from now on. Because I do prefer a center pull skein or cake. So if I can do it from a hand wound ball also. You're still winding, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, lots of winding to be done. Ow. One, two, three. Maybe sometime I will get the appropriate thread for this pattern and the appropriate size bobble and do it the way it says because I don't have any uh, size 20 thread. Oh, come on. But I'm using this because this is what I have on hand and we have an abundance of it. So. One, two, three. Ended up with giant yarn barf. So the like, yes. Yeah. I actually enjoy untangling yarn, believe it or not. I'm I'm strange. I like weaving in ends in crochet. And I like untangling knots and yarn barf. I'm I'm a strange one. One of the many reasons that I'm strange. Hate weaving it ends. Ah, no, I enjoy it actually. Oh no, I did. Okay. Um, Crojo Mojo 
had brought, had given me two of the blankets that she uh, she crocheted for me to weave in the ends, and I did the one, and I saw her yesterday and gave it to her. I, I thought, for a split second, I thought, oh, I didn't give it to her. No, I did give it to her. And there's another one I'm um, still have to have to do. Oh, we're going to an ad, everybody. So uh, hang tight. It's only going to be for three minutes. You'll send me my stuff. Yes. There are people that actually do that. You can send your knotted up yarn to people and they will untangle it to you and then they'll cake it up and send it back. It's it is a it is a thing. When I'm knitting, I do the weave in, the weave in Steven. I don't know the weave in Steven. Uh, I was one of those people you can commission him and his Kofi to weave in it. Do I still have that on my Kofi? I don't I haven't looked at my Kofi in forever. I need to, I need to go back to that. Oh, Stephen West. Okay. Okay. I know who Stephen West is. Even though I'm not a knitter, I know who, who he is. Uh, last time. Okay. Then it's still there. <laughs> I'm wondering if they send me an email. So, <laughs> I haven't checked it. So, I hopefully they, they would send me an email if somebody uh, requests something. Maybe I should look into that. Uh, doing a shawl again this year, giving me no thank you vibe. Oh no! Oh, I don't know. Yeah, that's not a. It's not a good thing if you're already getting no thank you vibes. One, two. Uh, done with clue of two of four. Okay. You'll get it. You'll get it when you get it. Okay, we're a little more than halfway done this round. I think we're gonna um I'm gonna do the rest of this round and then we can we can head on out because I am getting a little hungry. Welcome back, everybody. I'm slowly working my way around uh, this piece. I can show you what I'm doing. So that, that edge there that looks kind of like pointed like a crown almost. A crown, not a crayon. A crown, like you put on your head, like a king. So. One. 
two. And that's the part that actually we're going to lace up and cinch onto the ornament when we're finished. I like this one that because we don't actually reverse our work at all in this, I don't think. I think at the beginning we did, but we don't reverse our work. Because it's mostly coming from the... Uh, the ball. Come on. If we can do the join. Uh, come on. Why can't I do this? There we go. One, two, three. Oh, that strand can go over there. Okay, we've got a little ways. Alrighty. One, two, one, two. I'm all ready for Thanksgiving. Well, we're not ready for Thanksgiving, but I am ready to eat Thanksgiving. I know I have to wait, but I'm already tasting some of the tasty things. How many more do we have to do? Okay, three more points. One, two, three. It keeps getting all tangled up in my work. One, 
two, Pico one, two, Come on, get it going the right way. Join that. <sighs> yeah, I'm going to get off of here and find something to eat. And I think, I think I want some chili. I think that's uh, a plan. Final track. Oh, was this the, th the final track? I know it was on that album, but I didn't know if it, which which track it was. See, when I was a kid, I only knew the one track. <laughs> and I don't remember where it was because somebody would just put it on that one track. We all know the story how I was traumatized at a young age. Two, three. Oh, we're on our last little point. Okay, 
let's do the thing. My arm's getting tired also. And I got three more stitches to do on a join. And I'll test it. Two, three. Here's the join. Cut. I got an extra scrap piece. When you tat, you're gonna have scraps. You're gonna have scrap threads. All right. Let's see here. Um. Yeah, this should still probably work. All of these are going to be cinched up into the center. So I just have the one last round to put onto this side, and we lace it up and 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 we'll have it finished. And then I'll decide if I'm going to use the gold. I don't know if I'm going to use the gold. I might use a different color instead. I gotta finish that snowflake that I started. Okay. That goes over there. Alrighty, let's switch that. I'm gonna take a look gonna look over here all right let's see um. oh wait a minute Wait, 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 wait a minute, everybody. Wait a minute. All right, all righty here. So, do, 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 do the thing. We're gonna go and raid. We're gonna raid out. Um, I will be on tomorrow night, 6 p.m. East Coast time as usual. Uh. Maybe we'll do some crocheting. I still have some crochet Christmas things I want to get done somewhat soon. Um, let's give a shout out to our raid target. I didn't know that they were streaming. Sneaky. Uh, let's give them a shout out. Um, we're going to go raid ADK Dragon. Um, oh, the crap's so great. ADK Dragon stream is a magical place where blankets and cross-stitch maps take shape with grace. A zoo of animals, a mom full of cheer, crafting and gaming. Oh my, what a dear. Uh, she was in here earlier. She probably still is. She was the one who, uh, was posted the video for the hand-wound ball center pool. Um, says starting a blanket, so, but right now she is untangling yarn barf so uh let's go and give adk dragon our uh support and our love that is the raid call for subs 
me sub for followers that is the, the raid call for subscribers uh, copy one of the two whatever one that you are and uh, if you're a sub when you copy and paste it it will look like that with all of the uh, my emotes and uh, like I said I'll be on tomorrow uh, happy I want to thank um, catatonic divas Jack of all crafts and Vivi for for writing into me, um, and I will chat with you all next time. You're very welcome, Requ Requ Requiem Rose. That's hard to say. Uh, happy crafting. Take care of yourself and each other, and uh, we will see you next time. Uh, bye, everybody. Stick around for the raid.